What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is how to make healthy lifestyle changes that will last. <laughs> you are recording me and it's messing me up. <laughs> Sorry, Sadie was watching you the whole time. It was so funny. She's so enamored. Oh. Okay. Isn't this so exciting, Sadie? Enough of that craziness. Um, today's video, I have tons of good stuff planned to shoot at you guys. You're gonna love it. But before I jump into that, if you're new here, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a health and fitness expert, professional. I've been doing it for almost 10 years now, which is crazy for me to say out loud. I have my degree in kinesiology. I am a licensed sports nutritionist and a, an expert level personal trainer. I own a brand called Choreo in which I do online training and nutrition and health coaching. And then I also have my own women's activewear brand called Choreo Active. Um, and I've been super excited and it's been really fun to design and develop that. So you can check them out if you'd like. But without further ado, this video is not only great because of the topic, but you guys, I'm so excited because my brand Choreo is actually partnering with this amazing charity organization called Unlikely Heroes. I've been working with them for a few years, but if you haven't heard of them, they're so incredible. They actually rescue children from sex trafficking all around the world, in the United States and in other countries. And their organization does amazing things. They've rescued hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, probably even thousands of kids. I'm gonna link their information below, but my brand Choreo and myself are partnering with Unlikely Heroes this month in their second annual Move for Freedom. So basically, we have lots of ways that you could, that you, <laughs> We have lots of ways that you guys can get involved in this Move for Freedom Month. You can commit to a 30-day move challenge. I will talk more about how you can do that at the end of this video, but I did want to just share a little bit about Unlikely Heroes and a story of one of the children that was rescued recently. I'm going to read their story. It's very short, and then we'll get into today's video. All right, so I'm going to read a little story of a boy named Alex, who was nine years old. Alex was like most nine-year-olds. He loved playing outside, and his favorite sport was soccer. But his life changed forever when a neighbor saw that Alex was vulnerable while his mother was at work all night. Alex's neighbor manipulated his way into their home by starting off being friendly and bringing over candy and treats. Over time, he began to abuse and threaten Alex, and the abuse didn't end there. This neighbor brought over other people into Alex's home and began selling him for sex while his mother was not there. Alex's spirit was obviously crushed, and he was so scared that he couldn't even tell his mom out of fear that she would also get hurt. Thankfully, another neighbor recognized that something about Alex was not right and reached out to our restoration home, Unlikely Heroes, explaining to us what they witnessed. With help from local authorities, we investigated further and located Alex. We were able to rescue him out of this terrifying abuse and brought him into our boy's home to live a life of freedom, safety, and joy. Because of you, boys like Alex now have a safe place to reach full restoration and follow their dreams. So this is just one of the incredible stories. Oh my gosh, I've heard so many of these stories and they are just crushing. Like. To be involved with a charity like this just gives me so much purpose because of the work that they're doing is so incredible and so needed. And a lot of people think of sex trafficking as being some far off distant problem. It's actually happening right here in our own neighborhoods in the United States. If you'd like to get involved, I'll, I'll add more information at the end of this video, but without further ado, move for freedom, baby, this month. Let's jump into today's topic. It is how you can make healthy lifestyle changes that will actually last. Here we go. I have Weston Boucher with me, he's my boyfriend, but he is also a master at health and fitness and I think he'll add a lot to this video today, so here he is. <laughs> Thanks, that's quite the introduction. I hope to live up to the expectations set by that. Okay, so how to make healthy lifestyle changes that will actually last. I feel like the overwhelming theme of this video is gonna be like, if you could take anything away from it, it's try to make a lifestyle change instead of doing a temporary fix. What I mean by that is instead of like doing a fad diet or something that is like just a temporary quick fix, make it a lifestyle change. Like that brings me to my first point, have realistic goals. If you have realistic goals, you're gonna succeed way more. So example, if you've never worked out in your life, if you don't know anything about nutrition, don't expect to start working out every single day and eating healthy without fail 
seven days a week because it's just not gonna work. You wanna make realistic changes, small little micro changes that you can actually stick to that over time will accumulate into a massive lifestyle change. Like if you drink soda every single day, instead of just stopping cold turkey, just say, okay, on the weekends, I'm not gonna drink soda. Or I guess it would be the other way around. During the week, I'm only gonna have one soda a day or whatever. Make yourself the smallest little goals to actually achieve and you'd be amazed at how those will accumulate over time and result in a huge lifestyle change. Well said. All right, number two, prep for success. Like most people say in the health and fitness industry, if you fail to prep, then you prep to fail. Try to do things that will take away temptations, for example, like don't buy a lot of bad food anymore. Don't keep it in the house. It'll just make it that much easier when you have those moments where you get cravings and find healthy recipes that you can work with that aren't bland, you know? You don't have to make this awful. It can be really fun, actually, if there's a ton of recipes. There's more available than ever if you just Google some quick recipes. We actually have a YouTube video that we did of our favorite recipes on my channel and her channel, if you wanna look that up. What I find that really helps is to have some sort of accountability, right? Like, whether you vocalize it to a really close friend or family member, just say, hey, I'm really trying to elevate my health and like put it as a bigger priority in my life and I just want to vocalize that because it holds more accountable or whoever's under your roof whether that's family or friends ask them if they want to join in the journey and get them amped on it it just helps so much more when you have those low moments and you can feed off each other um, for information and it's just that much easier to get through it as you step into this uncharted territory. Going off that really quick, you don't have to do my program, but I do online training and nutrition and we have an amazing community on Facebook. So a lot of people who don't have that person that they can hold each other accountable with, they use that Facebook group as a support system. It's all about just filling your life with things that'll make it easier for you. Prepping your environment and your house and everything with all the tools that will lead you to success. Awesome. My number three tip is to find a program and stick to it. It doesn't have to be mine. There are tons of free ones online, but don't go program hopping. Don't like let yourself get distracted with the shiny new thing. Find a solid program that you can trust and stick with it. I always tell my clients that consistency is key. I always tell them, make sure to prioritize consistency over results because Consistency will always get you results. If you make it your goal to be consistent every single day, instead of like, you may have a goal of like, oh, I wanna lose 50 pounds, which is great, but mentally give yourself the goal instead of, I wanna be consistent in my training program and stick into this plan for the next three months. That's a way better goal because it focuses on an actionable thing that you can actually make happen. And you don't obsess over like the amount of pounds you have to lose or the image that you see in your mind that you wanna look like, which is good to have, but make your goals actionable. Find a program that you can trust and stick with it. Just be consistent. That's gonna give you the best results. Yeah, and to add to that, she's right. You don't really wanna watch the scale and just focus on pounds because your body's composition will change over time as you get in shape. You might replace fat with muscle and the scale might not change. So the important part is to look at how your, your body is changing, take photos for progress, that really, really helps give you perspective, and to not hyper obsess over the weight specifically because yeah. it's so much more about how you're starting to feel and whether you have more energy. Yeah, just overall aesthetic is kind of a better gauge in my experience. Yep, okay. All right guys, so to drive this all home, it's about learning to identify with these new healthy habits that you're adopting. That will create the healthy lifestyle change that will actually last. Yeah, because you want it to attach to your identity so that you can embrace it, right? So that it doesn't feel like this foreign thing that you're doing. And this is just something that like people who go to the gym do or something like that. Like this is this new, better version of you that's gonna be healthier and happier long-term. So when you start to associate that and those positive feelings towards it and you make it your own along the way and you don't say it has to be like this because this person did that or did that, Go with what resonates with you and stick with that because just like with anything, when you lose inspiration, motivation, it's just so much harder because you're just going through the motions, right? Try to make it your own a little bit, but just like borrow things that, again, that you can really connect with and forms of exercise or diets that, that you believe in and you feel like you're already kind of attracted to, to begin with and just learn as you go. It's, it's a journey. 
Yeah, it's all about mindset. You gotta start thinking about how you can mentally become a better version of you. Let go of your unhealthy old habits or identities. Like if you're a smoker, you gotta let that, you're not a smoker, I'm not a smoker. That's what you have to tell yourself. I am not a smoker. Or if you wanna become a runner, you have to tell yourself, I am a runner, I am a runner, because then you'll start to identify with those new habits and you'll be more likely to stick with it long term. Yeah, it's all about baby steps. It's not about going zero to 100, okay? Yes. That's why everyone yo-yos 100% of the time because they're just trying to get in shape for summer or a trip or they're getting married and they go back to their old habits because they went too hard too soon and it was awful. They might've hit that goal, but how much does it really matter if it doesn't change your mentality about it all? Yeah. Um, again, you wanna lit, go into old age feeling great, right? You wanna go into retirement someday feeling great. So why not get a head start, take care of your body? It will definitely not regret that investment, yeah. <laughs> trust me. It's a long term, long game, long game. That's long game, think about. long game. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed our top tips to make a healthy lifestyle changes that will actually last. A little bit more information about Unlikely Heroes and the Move for Freedom event we're doing this July. Choreo is sponsoring it, so we're doing tons of giveaways. You can learn more about it below and you can also sign up. I encourage you to share this with your friends or someone that you think would also enjoy it. Commit to this 30 days of movement and do it for yourself and out of self-love because you deserve it and you're worthy and your body is worth moving. It deserves movement. So without further ado, let's end it. Let's end it. Thank you for watching you guys. <laughs> Thanks and for being here. We'll see you next time. See ya.